Hi folks, I'm Thomas Henson with thomashenson.com and welcome back to another episode of Big Data, Big Questions. Today's question is, what are some tips for learning to become a better data engineer? Find out more right after this. So today's episode is all about tips for learning to become a better data engineer. So if you're watching this, you're probably concerned with one, how can I start out becoming a data engineer? What are some ways that I can learn to become better? Or maybe you're just looking to answer one specific question, but all those are encompassed in what we call the data engineer. And so a data engineer is somebody who's concerned with moving data in and out of the Hadoop ecosystem, being able to give data scientists and data analysts better, better views into the data. So we're involved with the day-to-day -day interactions of how that data is coming in. So is it in, how are we ingesting that data? How are we creating those applications and tuning those applications so that the data comes in faster? All to support those business analysts, those business decisions and the data scientists in creating better models and having just more data to have put their hands on. And so a lot of times what we're always doing is we're, we're asked to take on, you know, a couple terabytes of data here, maybe implement and do all the configuration for your Hive, you know, your Hive implementation or HBase or anything that's in that big data ecosystem. And so some of the tips that I've found for just getting started, so if you're brand new to this and you don't know where to start, the first thing I would recommend is go out and just download the sandbox. So download Cloudera Sandbox or, Cloud, or download Hortonworks Sandbox and just start playing with it. Go through some of the tutorials stand it up you know, on your local machine in a VM environment, and just start playing with moving some of the data around, find some sample data, so go to data.world. Also have a post and a video on where to find some data sets, and so take those data sets in, start ingesting those. I have a ton of resources and a ton of material on just some simple examples that you can walk through with Pig and some around Hive, so go there and find some of those, but basically what I'm saying is just get hands-on, start, start creating applications, start trying to do, you know, some simple things like ingest some data in, put it into Hive and be able to create a table and pull some of that data out and just some simple, maybe some simple Hive queries and do the same thing with Pig and just kind of go around to some of those applications that you're curious about and start playing with them. Another thing is, is once you start playing and sampling and testing that data, get involved uh, and by get involved, just ask some questions, create a blog post, try to find a way that you can, you know, contribute back to the community. I mean, that's what I did when I first first starting out. I mean, I started off with a sandbox and what I did was I took and made sure that every day for 30 minutes, I was learning something new in the Hadoop ecosystem. And so that's my um, another tip for you too, is to take and try to do this 30 minutes a day, every day. I mean, even Saturdays, Sundays, don't take a day off. And it's only 30 minutes. And if it's something that you're passionate about and you like doing, that time's just gonna fly by. But over time, that's just really gonna give you more and more time in the Hadoop ecosystem. So, you know, whether you're doing this for a project at work, whether you're already in the ecosystem and you're just trying to improve, that 30 minutes a day is really gonna help. And it's something that, you know, I've continued to do and continue to do now, you know, even though I've been in part of the community for three or four years now. And so it's how I just continue to learn. So make sure I'm always kind of pushing. And then once once you get comfortable and once you know you're ready to contribute or ask questions and you know try to try to help out some other people, another thing that I would recommend for you to do is get get involved in an open source product. And so you know whether it be just going and signing up for the user list. So you know every page of you know anything in the Apache Hadoop ecosystem, you can go in there and you can get on the developers list. You can get on the user list and just start looking at some of that information, those questions that they come in, answer some of them. Um, you can help out with documentation. So you don't have to just um, be a developer to get involved. You can get involved with documentation, answering user questions, or just finding out what's coming up on the roadmap. And so that's another way just to kind of help you become a better data engineer, you know, get started in the, in the community and really just start finding out where your niche is there. And also if you're looking for any tips, for tutorials or anything like that, you know, go to Pluralsight. I've got a ton of videos out there. There's a lot of other authors that have um, videos that are in the Hadoop ecosystem. So go out there, check out some of those. Um, I've got tips here on YouTube, but just start learning. You know, take that 30 minutes every day and watch a video or, you know, contribute something to GitHub or play in your own environment and walk through just some tutorials. Um, but just do that 30 minutes a day, 
you'll become a better data engineer or you'll become the data engineer that you want to be. So also don't forget to subscribe. So subscribe to this so you never miss an episode of Big Data, Big Questions and some of the other information that's all about the Hadoop ecosystem and developer friendly. So subscribe here so that you never miss an episode and I'll check back with you guys next week. Thanks again.